some point and start walking around, okay? Because sometimes that's how I pray. I walk around. Sometimes I get on the floor. Sometimes I kneel. You know, you just be ready to have different postures, okay? This is a stretch. For those of you that have never done this before, it's like you're in the gym and you're pushing your spiritual muscle, so to speak. You're trying to push to do things you've never done before. So you might feel uncomfortable at first, but you will hit a breakthrough if you focus. Now, a few things that help you focus in this time. You might want to get a notepad. Obviously, get your Bible next to you, have a notepad. The reason for the notepad, and you might even use your phone. Oftentimes, I use my phone to take notes. Because when you start to pray, sometimes your mind starts to wander to to to-do lists. And one of the ways to capture that is just to write it down. Don't deal with it. Don't send an email right now. Don't get distracted right now. To make the most out of this time, you have to be focused, okay? So it's not one of those things where you're praying in tongues and you're just doing everything else. You, to get the most out of this midnight prayer, you need to press into God by being focused. So focus your mind. And as your mind starts to wander, you write those thoughts down. You capture them to deal with them later. Another reason to have a notepad or something to, uh, to take notes on an iPhone or iPad or whatever is as you begin to pray, sometimes God, in fact, oftentimes God begins to release revelations to you about things you never thought about before, about things you've maybe you've been praying about you've never considered and so it's good to make notes and write down as you pray in tongues and as you pray in tongues you're probably going to have some pictures you're going to have some scriptures begin to just make them them. have your bible next to you because as you begin to pray the lord might uh, open up your heart to a scripture open it up read it and as you read it keep praying in tongues okay so this is going to be a stretch we're not going to just stop i'm not this is not something where i'm going to be releasing prophetic words even though i know they're going to be words that are going to be stirred as we pray in tongues and at the end of the hour i would love you to type some of the things you received as we prayed and if you want to type even as you're praying feel free to type the prophetic words you received now i didn't take note of this but i was going to I think I, we have an email address. Jessica, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's prophetic at prayerstone.org. And I'm going to release that email address out there, prophetic at prayerstone.org. If, as we're praying in tongues, especially at the end, uh, you want to just send us a vision, a word you had, something stood as we're praying, okay? Just put them there. There is not a specific prayer point for this time. We're just going to have to go. Uh, uh, Romans 8 says, for we know not how to pray. Now, I'm not going to do a teaching right now. This is a prayer meeting. Let me keep an eye on the time. Okay. Uh, for we know not how to pray. So we're leaning on the Holy Spirit to pray. Now, for some of you, the Holy Spirit might be praying through you uh, 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 specific things going on in your life. For some of you, the Holy Spirit might be praying through you intercessory prayers for your region, for your family. For some of you, the Holy Spirit might just be, uh, it might just be what I call communion tongues. They're different types of tongues. There's warfare. For some of you, it might be warfare going on. For some of you, it might just be communion. So, you know, we're just going to pray into the Lord, and I believe he's going to be releasing different things to different people. But the key thing is, if you're on this stream tonight, I want you to commit to the next six nights. Yes, this is night one. The next six. So we wanted this for seven consecutive nights, and we're going to keep going. Okay, so make a note of the revelation. Make a note of the scriptures. If you want to email us, just email prophetic at prayerstorm.org. OK, and, and, and we can just, you know, just be aware of some of the things that the Lord is speaking, because I'm expecting that God is going to change your life forever. Even as I was praying today, I was just feeling that people are going to enter into a whole new place of deliverance where it's not that someone lays hands on you. It's going to be like a DIY. <laughs> do it yourself. But it's not doing it yourself. It's like you're partnering with the Holy Spirit. And as you pray in tongues, things are going to shift, especially the consistency at midnight. OK, we're going to a whole new preach, but that's not what we're going to do. We're here to pray. So. Lastly, if you don't know how to pray in tongues, you've never prayed in tongues before, it's okay. Don't feel put out. Don't feel discouraged, rather. Uh, Just uh, ask the Holy Spirit. You know, in Acts 2, the Holy Spirit was poured out. And when Peter preached, one of the things he says was, this gift is for you as for many who are far off, as many as the Lord will call. And that includes all of us right now. If you're saved, you've committed your life to Jesus, you're qualified to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of praying in tongues. Right. So as we pray in tongues, you just ask God for that. Now, if nothing is happening as you're asking for God for that, just focus on Him. I'm going to put some music in the background, just instrumental. Just focus on Him. Just seek Him. Just press into His presence in this time. You might want to pray in your understanding. Uh, those of you that can pray in tongues, just pray in tongues. That is all we're going to do for the next hour. And I'm going to time, we're going to time it. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep an eye on the time anyway. Uh, and so, um, are you ready for this, guys? Yes. <laughs> are you ready? If I was in a building, I'd be like, 
can I hear you? Are you ready for this? Your life is about to be changed. God's going to move in incredible ways. It's going to be amazing. So let me just pray my understanding and just come in this time to the Lord. Holy Spirit, I thank you for every single person that's going to be listening to this after this stream or those that are joining in live right now. Lord, as we begin to pray in tongues, I thank you that, Father, you know the perfect prayer. You know exactly what we should pray and how we ought to pray this prayer. So, Father, we ask that, Lord, you begin to enlarge our spirits. Lord, I pray that you begin to open our eyes. I ask that, Lord, whatever barriers and resistance we encounter, that we're going to see those things just break through. Father, we ask for tongues of fire, Amen. tongues of fire. Lord, I ask for fresh baptism. Some of you already pray in tongues, but as you begin to pray, God's going to give you new tongues, Amen. tongues of fire. Amen. You're going to step into that river. Amen. Out of your belly would flow the river of living water. So right now, we just unlock every well within us. We say, let it just burst forth. Let the river flow Amen. in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. Hallelujah. And we thank you that you've baptized us with your Holy Spirit. Amen. And even right now, you're going to begin to lead us to pray your prayer. So thank you, Holy Ghost. We give you praise. Rama <laughs> Rebe <laughs> <laughs> 
Ba 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 
Ramayala Bando, 
Jesus, 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 Rapa 
We've just hit an hour, I believe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. Now, I want you to type in the comment section if you've never done this before and this has been a stretch or you felt a breakthrough. You know, I know some of you as you've been praying in tongues, there's been releases. I want to encourage you, commit to this seven nights. 
okay? If you're just logging on now and you're just wondering what's going on, we're committing to pray in tongues for an hour at midnight for seven consecutive nights. I'm convinced that some of you, I see that some of you, have, I've not really been keeping track of all the comments, but I see some of you typing some prayer requests in there. Listen, you wouldn't even need to type your prayer request because as you're praying in the spirit, I believe God is going to begin to release breakthroughs because your natural mind can only pray so far. And that's why we pray in tongues. Because when we pray in tongues, we tap into the potential of the spirit, which is endless. And then we'll begin to see breakthroughs. I believe some of you right now as you've been praying in tongues there's been breakthrough of limitations that's been on your mind or your emotions the atmosphere of your home Jeez. it's been uh, released it's been uh, separate from all, almost like a like a like a is that an embargo like a like a restriction that the lord is releasing you from the restrictions of the enemy and i also feel this strong as we're praying we're gonna round up because we're not gonna be on here all night by the way i need to go on let me just turn this music down a bit uh, so you can hear better as we're praying, I feel like God is releasing. It's like he's unlocking prayer within people right now. It's like uh, it's releasing and uh, it's just stirring the spirit of prayer over you. And some of you need to fast tomorrow. If that's not going to fast this next six days, you're not coming to fast. Add fasting to your prayer. If you've never prayed in tongues for an hour and you've just seen yourself do that right now, I want you in the morning or in the evening tomorrow to push another hour on your own. And then we come again at midnight to push again. You know, almost commit yourself to push in tongues like never before. I've committed myself that 2021 is going to be a year of acceleration and spiritual maturity for me. I hope you make that commit for yourself. That 2021 is going to be a year where you shift gears in the spirit. Where you, you know, walk in new realms of maturity like you've never walked in before. If you've been struggling with addictions and pornography and lust, as you begin to pray and you begin to repent and begin to turn to God, listen, even the root of that is going to be uprooted from you. I believe this seven nights, this next six nights is going to be night of deliverances as the Holy Spirit begins to move as you begin to pray. And I believe God's going to begin to even shift things in the nations. You know, as I started praying in tongues, my tongue was different to how it was this afternoon because I was praying in tongues right here in this room earlier. And, you know, and I just felt the warfare, the contention, like the fighting. But I can tell that God is moving on many of your hearts right now. And things just breaking off of you. You've been praying in your natural mind, it's time to shift gears to the spirit and let the Holy Spirit begin to pray through you. And I see some of you are going to be uh, uh, almost like a mantle the gain in intercession, mantle the gain in prayer. That God is going to begin to release over you in this season a mantle of intercession, a mantle in prayer that you've never known before. You're going to start to wake up at all hours 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 12 midnight. You're going to find that there's a burden coming on you to pray like never before. Some of you you're going to begin to pray for hours like you've never prayed before. I release the spirit of grace and supplication over you right now. I break up the prayerlessness. I break up every 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 uh, every burden, every restriction, everything that the enemy has used to shut your mouth. I declare right now the river flows and they will not be shut out. Listen, some of you need to turn up the TV. You need to not go back to that TV. You need to not go back to those shows you've been watching. Conse consecrate this next few days. You say, Lord, I'm going to press in. I'm going to seek you. Two of you. You have burdens of your families on your heart. Why don't you consecrate this and fast? Turn off the distraction. Turn off the news. Turn off everything. And begin to give more extra time to press into God. Listen, I believe some of you are going to unlock things in the spirit like you've never known before. This is a season of breakthrough. I'm telling you, God is going to move like never before. And this is the hour to contend. So, Father, we just give you praise for every breakthrough that has been released and is being released in the spirit right now I thank you father for the work you're doing right now that this is the beginning and father we're gonna keep pushing so I think for grace I just speak of everyone that's tuning in right now that the ground that we've gained we will not lost in the daytime the ground that we've gained tonight as we go to sleep father thank you for dreams and visions I begin to release to us revelations you begin to release to us father and that we will not lose this ground but tomorrow night as we come at midnight again we're gonna push further as we've never done before in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in tonight for this hour of prayer. Uh, I don't have time to go through all your comments on here, 
But uh, I want to encourage you, send us your, uh, uh, if the Lord has given you a specific vision or word, you can put it obviously in the comment section. But if you feel like it's something you want to email to us as a ministry, just email prophetic at prayerstorm.org. If there's a vision the Lord gave you for the nation or something you felt was important, just send it over there and we'll uh, hopefully get to uh, look through it at some point. But thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're going to be back tomorrow night. If you know friends that need to get their prayer lives restarted, encourage them to join us again tomorrow night. I see many of you joining us from all over. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we shall be back again tomorrow at 12 midnight. Uh, let me just say any other comments on here. I want to respond to Liz Beck. Good to see you. Emmanuel. Good to see you on there, Sandra. Uh, Joan, so, so, good to see you. <laughs> you can see some friends on here as well. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. Let me just turn this music right down. Oh, actually, you know what? Before I sign out, I don't know if some of you commented already, but I want to know some of you who have struggled. Uh, if you found this a challenge, just say, hey, this was a challenge for me. If you found this a stretch and you're excited, you're able to push the hour, you've never done that before, let me know. Just type in the comment section that, you know, this is the first time you've done this. You know, it's just great to see that this streams are going to be encouraging more and more people. Some of you are going to have to watch this back and use it in your prayer time. Just pray along, just pray along, you know, um, and it will be a blessing to you, I'm sure. God bless you all. All right, it's late. I need to go home. <laughs> Uh, or oh, someone say yes fatigue it's okay if you struggled don't give up don't feel uh like you know this isn't for you sometimes there are just lots of things to push through that you may be dealing with on different levels oh someone said grace said it was hard but good great <laughs> amen amen natalie said he pushed definitely a stretch but i kept going good 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 Oh, is there any way we can access the music? Tosin says, so, the, okay, let me just say, oh, uh, the music you're hearing, I actually recorded earlier today. I just sat on the keyboard and just played. And so I just played for an hour. Um, I would think through that because I'm going to do the same again tomorrow. Every night, I want to have different music. So I'm going to play and record again tomorrow. Just have it on for the stream. We'll do the, uh, the prayer times. Um, yes, I'll get the music out at some point. I'm sure it will be a blessing to many people. Thank you. Thank you all. I was going to bed when YouTube recommended this. <laughs> I will now be having at least one hour less sleep. Well, that was an hour well spent. Great, Ade. <laughs> Great. Oh, wow, wow. I enjoy the corporate praying. Awesome, awesome. We struck with the precision. God bless you. Anyway, I'm going to sign out right now. Otherwise, I'll be here all night talking and looking at comments. God bless you. Tomorrow night, midnight again, share the video. I encourage people to join us. It's going to be awesome. God bless you.